Hi everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest XI. Uh, uh, so last part we managed to make our way to um, Sniffleheim, I remembered. Uh, and we've, we're heading off to meet the Queen. Fuck that. <laughs> um, we've got some more side quests to do, so... Now we're heading down to Nautica. Um, which is something I never actually did in my original playthrough, actually. Um, just because I assumed, well, Nautica's not going to be accessible, is it? Because it was just completely obliterated by um, the fat bastard that we de defeated in uh, the last part. But now you can come down here and, uh, yeah, it looks fine. <laughs> it looks completely fucking undamaged. Um, okay, whatever. So... <clears throat> First thing we've got to do is we've got to head off and go to the castle so that we can meet up with the Queen again. Um, because at this point, basically, um, she now has the ability to turn us from a human into a fish. And so we can change from a human into a fish at will. Which basically allows us to be able to buy all the weapons and armor and stuff that's exclusively down in... Um, uh, in Nautica so that's pretty much what we're doing so yeah apparently she survived <laughs> she's all right along with the rest of the yeah the whole place is apparently okay now which you know I this is just my assumption that be, when that you know everything would be fucked but apparently not so yeah so now we can uh, basically talk to the qu to the queen here, and she will basically turn us into a fish whenever the hell we want. So, first thing we want to do is we've got uh, actually a quest that we haven't f completed yet, <clears throat> and the thing that we need is over here, this gold sparkly spot. So, head over to here and pick it up. And we got a Sage's Stone, so we've just got to take that back to the uh, old adventurer who's in Go uh, Gondolia. And we can complete that quest now, which is nice. But um, we've got, uh, I think there's two more quests um, that we can do. Uh, what am I doing first? Okay, yeah. I, so now that we're fish, we can talk to the shark. Weird. And... <laughs> We can now actually buy now buy weapons and armor from the store. In terms of stuff that you can buy, there isn't really much that useful. Uh, like the best thing that you can get is the um, uh, is the flowing dress, uh, which is good for <clears throat> which is good for um, Serena when she rejoins the party. And also Rob, which is weird. And you can also buy the uh, Corsair uh, outfit, uh, which is a new outfit for um, Eric. So yeah, that is also both of those are well worth getting because they're good um, improvements um, on the armor that we currently have. <clears throat> so go in here and talk to the sea turtle. So basically, he wants. Um, the turtle wants you to bring something very specific from from the world. Basically, there's a certain thing that he wants to kind of exhibit and show off um, from the human world, um, which is this, uh, which is basically one of the uh, cannonballs um, from Lonolulu. So that's where we've got to go. We've got to head back to Lonolulu and talk to the woman who's in charge of shooting off the cannons and basically get one of those cannons for him. So yeah, that's what we're doing in that one. <clears throat> now if we go to the lower part of um, of um, Nautica, basically there's a, a mermaid, this mermaid here, who lives, who's uh, hanging out in the boat, in the shipwreck, and basically her Master, or she she studied under a human. I think it was a human who basically had basically he was basically a lawyer, and she trained to be a lawyer with him, uh, like he trained her. And 
basically she in order for him for her to save this person who she's trying to um, be the defense attorney for she needs the <clears throat> notes from her master uh, so that's basically what we're so we've got to head off and we've got to find out um, where his notes would be stored <clears throat> sorry about that anyway so first off we're back in Gondolia and we've got to head off to I think it's um, sorry fucking hell my nose anyway so he wants to go to yeah here we are Oop. we want to go to the very front here uh, by the sea and speak to this guy on the left here give him the sage's stone and there you go that's the quest sorted and basically he gives us the sage's stone we allows us to keep it plus I think he gives us yeah he gives us a recipe called making the most of mithril really useful because uh, you can make fizzle foils mithril helms dancers mail uh, so yeah really useful um, weapon a uh, really useful weapon and also some really useful armor and we also get to keep the sage's uh, stone as well uh, the sage's stone is something you equip you put in someone's inventory and uh, when you put it in someone's inventory they get um, it then gives them healing abilities um, <coughs> <coughs> sorry fucking hell so it gives them the ability to use like uh, healing magic uh, even if they don't have an affinity for any kind of magic so you can give it to say like Hendrick or Jade and um, they will or be able to use um, healing magic with that in their inventory so it's pretty useful the sage's stone uh, particularly if you haven't got your full party at this point but we're pretty close to having our full party at this point so it's not super mega useful but it's also but you know it's always good to have more healing uh, more people who can use healing about uh, healing magic so yeah so talk to this old woman here in um, Honolulu and she will give you a kimono a can a kanono cannon so yeah now that we've got the kanono cannon uh, we can complete that quest but before we do that we've got to head to where's this island this is uh, insula us i think that's right uh basically this is um near the strand i believe uh, on the uh, east of the continent so talk to this guy yeah this list is no friend of mine uh, so he helped him out yeah and he's just kind of yeah so he's passed away at this point but all this shit has been left in a chest which by the way this kind of if you come here earlier yeah you can't the, this chest doesn't exist <laughs> only exists once you've done the um started the side quest weirdly but anyway so now we're done so all we need to do now is we need to head back to nautica and the first thing we're going to do is we've got we've got a uh, this quest to finish off speak to the turtle again and hand him the uh, cannon and he's very happy and there you go nicely done uh, and for that I can't remember what you get what you get this in return what do we get A recipe book called secrets of the sunken spirit Full Fathom Forks. Uh, Full Fathom Forks. I think that's a, a new um, um, uh, like spear type weapon, like lance type weapon for Jade. 
So yeah, that's it's pretty useful. Um, but to be honest, unless you get it up to plus three, it's not going to be that much stronger than um, what Jade already has. So it's a nice thing to have, but it's not really all that useful. <clears throat> anyway, talk to her, hand her the, uh, the notes so she can help out a client, and boom. Nice and done. N uh, nicely done. And what do we have? And a sovereign seal. Uh, I believe a sovereign, uh, sovereign seal is an accessory, which I never use. Uh, it's not really all that useful, but hey, got more side quests to do. Speaking of which, we've now gone to the Zvordros region. Um, talk to Luther Van Boss. <laughs> that is Boss, isn't it? Luther Van Boss. <laughs> wow, that's a that's a reference. Find fashions for philosophers. So we get a nice book here. Uh, so yeah, we have to go to uh, Ballad of Bravery quest. So yeah, we have to go to um, we have to go to the Dundrasil ruins, uh, and I think we have to use a specific um, uh, a pep up power. I think I'm trying to remember. Fuck you. <laughs> Move out of the way. Oh, I missed that shiny thing. I can't can't believe I missed that sparkly spot. Anyway. So yeah, what we've got to do now is we've got to head over to uh, the Dundrasil Ruins. Uh, you can go either way, I think. Uh, this way is the shorter route, though. To get to the um, Dundrasil region. Boom, here we go. Yeah, of course, we've already been through here. We've already uh, dealt with all the shit in um, in Octagonia. So, let's just avoid all the enemies. And let's head over to um, the uh, Dundersteel Ruins. Oh, God, there was a loading time there. That was weird. <laughs> Must have been going too fast. A load point, that's kind of weird. Never seen that before. <laughs> oh well. So here we are. I can't remember whether this we have to use a pep up power or whether we just have to collect something. I can't remember. They tend to blend together after a while. Uh, where are we going? I'm trying to remember. My brain's not working at the moment. <laughs> Where are we going? Nothing over here. Oh! I remember now. Fuck, I'm stupid. So, you might remember much earlier on in the game, there was a um, hut that, me, me, that the, main he the hero and Jade kind of rested in when she tried to save him from falling off a cliff and falling into the river. Um, head in here now, there's a chest in here now. And here is the Looter's Opus. That's what we were looking for. So now we've got the Looter's Opus, so now it's time for us to uh, um, zoom back over to the uh, inn in the, uh, the Warriors Inn. What? The, 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 sorry. The Warriors Rest Inn. So let's head back. And we just got to hand this over to him. Sorry if you can hear the dog in the background. It's so fucking noisy. What am I doing? Uh, there you go. Fucking hell. Give him his uh, the give him his opus. And boom, we're all done. <laughs> and for that, we get um, a, another um, recipe book. Find fashions for philosophers. And what we get is, we can now make sages, staves, scholars' caps, thinking caps, and guru's glasses. All accessories and um, equipment 
um, which is useful for um, our mages. So for Rab, uh, Serena, and Veronica. So they're actually pretty useful and pretty good upgrades for for them at this point in the game. So it's well worth going out of your way to. It's well out go, well worth going out your way to do this side quest to get all that stuff, make things a bit easier for you. Anyway. Right, we've done side quest stuff. It's all done. <laughs> so now we can move on with plot. Um, so basically, everything's gone to shit. There's this mysterious kind of um, curse which has been placed on everybody. And that's why all the um, people in the in Snuffleheim are kind of staying inside their houses in because uh, through you know fear um, of all this stuff that's going down so what we've got to do first is we've got to head off and we've got to meet the queen of Snuffleheim again oh sorry I was standing on your dress love I apologize <laughs> everything's gone to hell in a handbasket since we left Mm, the witch isn't uh, by his side at this point. No shit. <laughs> yeah, a lot has happened. Everything's gone to hell. Yeah, so there's this thing called uh, gold fever which is going around where basically... Um, <clears throat> Where people are basically turning into being turned into gold. Uh, basically, the people of the of, of, of Sniffleheim are basically being turned kind of randomly into gold statues. Uh, also, animals and plants. Uh, it turns entirely to gold. So they think at this point that it's basically a. Um, so they think it's basically like a disease of some co some sort, um, but yeah. Uh, Eric seems to know something about it though, He or it seems to rouse a little bit of a memory in him. <clears throat> you know, uh, uh, people being turned to gold, so we'll find out about that very soon. Yeah, so basically, um, the reason why Crystal Linda isn't around Queen Frisbell at this point, and she's been kind of shoved into one of the dungeons, um, you know, f uh, for her own safety, basically, because the subjects are kind of blinded by fear, and they think that she's the one behind it. Which, to be fair, <laughs> um, Crystal Linda does have prior <laughs> with... Uh, what she did, you know, to the uh, to Queen Frizabel and all that stuff, kind of earlier on. Um, but she's actively trying to look for a a cure. So yeah. So basically, we've just we've got to try and work out. Oh, sorry. We've got to try and work out what the hell's going on here with this um, gold illness, and see if we can work out what the fuck's going on. Yeah, and Eric seems to, yeah, it seems to, um, uh, stir something up in Eric. He seems to remember something, which we will be finding out about, but, <laughs> uh, not for a little while. So yeah, before we leave and head into town, uh, we're going to go down to the dungeon and we're going to see, um, Crystalinda. Because you can go down to the dungeon area and you can talk to her if you want. I don't think she really says much, but you know it is an option to go straight. Uh, it's basically you go straight across and boom, here she is. Got a lot to the cage. You want to catch anything for me? I have nothing to do with that ridiculous gold fever. Yeah, she kind of takes it in stride. <laughs> kind of understands, you know, why people would suspect her. More akin to a curse. Uh, 
like I said. Frissy's state sake. I kind of like that, that the uh, the little subtle hint there that she's kind of become close friends with um, the qu Queen Frizzabelle. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, we've got to find out what the fuck's going on. So we're going to head out. Uh, let's head out of the castle now to speak to um, uh, some of the townsfolk to see if they can give us a clue as to where to look. Ah, oh, there you are. Is everything all right? Kind of the, okay. Nope. Exactly. <laughs> Everything's gone to shit, you see. <laughs> As per usual in this game. So I kind of like this here that you have Rab kind of, because we already know about it, but we have Rab kind of explain it to uh, Jade, Sylvando, and um, Hendrik. I kind of like how they do it, and how they did it then. Okay. Wait, I know you. You're that boy, Eric. You, huh? you know me? So apparently the snuffle people of Snuffleheim know him. Um, I'm trying to remember when we first came to Snuffleheim. I think Eric was around, but I think he kind of... I think if I remember correctly, he... In, for story purposes, he kind of... Um kept a low profile and kind of didn't go into um and okay? in, go into Sniffleheim town with everybody else it's got me. Oh. so yeah basically um but apparently she knows Eric and it's weird that at this point it's decided the um the curse has decided to kind of grab a hold of her And yeah, so it's not really, you can tell it's not really an illness. Take it, this is a case yep, of she's literally fever. turned to solid gold. It's horrible. Yeah, she's uh, in a bit of trouble here. Yeah. yeah, and apparently Eric is... Um, you know, Eric's memories are trying to... Force the way through, it seems. He kind of recognizes what's going on. Do you know our friend, Father? He's an old pal of ours, but we lost him after the fall. And I fear he's taken a blow to the head somewhere along the way. He doesn't remember about his life before then. Oh dear. Poor child. Perhaps I can help to jog your friend's memory. So, yeah, basically this uh, priest is basically going to help us out with this little bit by basically telling us how, uh, what he knows about Eric's past, so we can maybe um, try and jog Eric's memory. But that's not going to be till next part. So join me next time for the next part of Dragon Quest XI, uh, when we'll be talking to that priest, finding out a bit more about um, Eric's past, and we'll also be... Um, uh, trying to work out where we need to go in order to uh, help the townspeople afflicted with this gold curse. So yeah, see you next time.